Hello everybody, Dylan here reviewing the Homeward Calamari Star Cruiser set from 2009 in honor of the 20th anniversary line, of which this is from the 10th anniversary line. So on the front of the booklets, and we might as well skip the box for this review and the next one coming up soon. So on the front of the box here you see Lego Star Wars, the border that is just like the earlier sets. And picture of the whole set in there and set number 7754. Right, and first booklet, uh, nothing much. And then the second one, same stuff, but on the back of which, Lego Club with Max there and went on the online survey with uh, Farrowin's Gormix from Bonicle and whatnot. And after some older 2009 Clone Wars sets, and two other 10th anniversary sets, which I have previously reviewed, and then all the features of it, and then just the parts list, and the finals, which is three pages, and the final steps. First of which is, uh, uh, forgot this one's name. If you know the name of this one, of this character, tell in the comments, but... So if it decides to focus... But her torso print of which done well. And this was like first time included in a set. Okay, there we go. Let's see. As I was saying, nice torso print, of which and face print of which kind of similar to all nineteen earlier sets, like with the simple dots for eyes and all. And uh, and of course. But unfortunately, no back printing or back face printing. But this was first time ever included in a set, which was pretty interesting. And then, next figure included, which is Avril Akbar. And this was first time ever including Avril, Avril Akbar for like 10 years at this time, which is pretty crazy. So it is head print of which. Or head piece of which done nicely, and the back torso print of which also done nice, pretty goodly. And of course, this head piece they did use in the uh, resistance transporter in the Force Awakens and uh, whatnot. Then yeah. And next up is Calamari uh, Warrior or something, or technician or something. The same similar headpiece to that of Vacmal Akbar, but different torso, no back torso print, and this and some nice torso print to him. And then we get a uh, rebel technician or a worker. And it's the same exact thing going for him as with the simple Doss's pupil's eyes. Find it on any back printing or face printing, since well capturing the earlier mini things. And, yeah. and last but not least is Mano Calrissian. This is which, but with in the with his older style face, which I don't think we haven't seen in sets in some sets in a while, or in this time, or at this at the time of this set, just haven't included it in a while. Uh, which was which is hard to say. And 
unfortunately no back printing since also resembling the earlier ones. But when some bits of it, but the head and uh, faith and hair of which, same as in the older Cloud City and whatnot. And last up is the A Wing Pilot, which just about much like the previous A Wing Pilots, is like, as you can see, the helmet piece is quite the same, and the face printing, oh, which also the same, also simplistic of many things, but no back printing, no back head printing, and the and that is it with the mini things. Now on to with the first part of the set, which is the A-Wing Fire, or A-Wing Starfire. And this, I think, and plus at the time of this one, this being the third A-Wing, yes, third A-Wing. But although this has some similar builds to that of the uh, 2013 A-Wing, like where the tail fins were mostly are mostly jagged slopes, whereas the for the 2017 version use actual fin pieces. But, not, but with this one, one, which is in white and dark green, interesting color scheme, rather than the white and dark red. But also you did get a dark green one in the Star Wars Rebels ones. But yeah, and as you can see, using the slopes with the rebels sign on it. You also, do get a couple of foot fire missiles. And yes, the area does open up to like fit a single mini fig into it, like so. As for the back area, which can open these two parts up and this engine piece can come out which one of the features of the whole playset will do anyways. So, and underneath it is a little thing that folds up just like the other A-wings and X-wings and what those uh, plates are for as well. You'll see what soon enough. And also the classic space uh, cylinder pieces, but in dark green, which is kind of cool to include in here. And first of all is this little uh, A-Wing hanger kind of thing. Like it is the like really long Technic uh, axle included, which doesn't come in so many sets, but cool to have it here. And you see a lot of these like large uh, plate pieces, which are often seen in other sets. But also you can like put these up and these yellow things and have little hiding areas in there. And this little crane thing about can like swish back and forth on a Technic beam and can like lower it down and raise it up since it's with the Lego string. And if you're wondering what these uh, tubes are for, are for connecting into the A wing, which since as I forgot to mention, one side has jagged slopes, but the other side a like Technic plus hole brick, which is what one of those tubes can connect into if you're wondering. And what this little thing is for, well, you align it with the little plates on the bottom. If, hang on. Can align them. And then there. It's like parked and getting worked on. And you can turn it all around. And with the instructions and other advertising material, all show is well, some set pictures of it shows the crane holding it out like that. 
and which kind of interesting. So, so what this little uh, thing is for? Well, let's save that for the end of the review. Something fell off. Hang on. to the main area of which, so like, as you can see, it built quite nicely with the like little technic things there to make it the like arches form, kind of like that of from the Lego like, Dimensions portals, and also have a lot of these control panel tile pieces. And also, nice, clever use of the Bionicle uh, Triax pod acting as the uh, Death Star or hologram of which. And also, these classic satellite pieces or satellite dish pieces is acting as its uh, projectors. And probably enough stands or seats to fit all your remaining things onto it, of course. And so, in this little area around here, or around here, which does have a couple chairs to fit a couple of mini figs onto, and also this little tile showing the Death Star plans, and also another little chair here, so I fit your uh, calamari uh, guy onto. And this, which does have a little uh, viewing scope thing, or which they usually use in the X wings. Things in the yeah. And so now, what this set does have is a oh, whoops, uh, minus that, is a little bit of a modulability feature, like with those uh, Technic pins there, and also this little beam sticking out. Well, it connects to those holes those right there. there and also with this thing to slide into place so you can connect the two together like so and slide that in and then nice and sturdy held together and so now on to it, the final verdict So, so therefore the overall brick on this set is this is which a pretty good set for 2009 and for 10th anniversary like get the third A-Wing which has been a while since they done an A-Wing at the time and also first ever set including Admiral Ackbar or which kind of crazy for the 10 years of Star Wars then so probably making this well rememberable and I'd say if you still have access to this set, I'd say go definitely get it. And if you already have this set, then I hope you had some good memories of having it. And yeah, and that is it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.